But the the other thing I, I want to mention, um, and I haven't mentioned it yet, is that St Luke's, I'm pretty sure it's today, between 1 o'clock and 7 o'clock, have got um, an exhibition about their redevelopment plan. It's on the first floor of the cafe, the Cross, Cross Keys Cafe. So if you go in from Hevertry Road, it's on the left, pre- pretty sure. You'll, you'll, you'll see it there. There is another way in, a bit around the corner, but I think there's a, there's a, you'll, fi- you'll find a way in, and the, the um, first floor is what, is what you're looking for. And I, I think this is, is very interesting. Um, oh, hang on. I've got I've got to press a press a button at fifty at six minutes to ten, and then the 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 sync with the next show should should work. Um, I've 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 been raving on about the way the court redevelopment student accommodation scheme has in, included the St Luke's lawn in the shop the the Echo and. Um, extra observer everybody's accepted this architect's impression of what it might look like but the, the photograph just hides the road and the lawn is not w- w- was not part of that proposal at, at all um, but that's that's where the start of thinking about that whole area as contested and um, misrepresented and a a, a jumble, really, of, of different architectural styles, and I, I wonder what what the development will t- will turn out to be, um, because it's it's a Victorian take on medieval is the is the the start of it, and how much how much of that they leave or how much space they leave around it, I'm not. A, not at all sure, but it, it'll be very interesting, and there may well be some clues about this between one o'clock and seven o'clock. I'm pretty sure it's today. Um, the other thought is that maybe this is a chance to do a bus stop uh, or a bus shelter. Um, Chris and I were talking about this last week, but we're still in the drama show. Um, it, it is a drama. We're, we're doing a drama about a bus stop that is not not just a talking bus stop, but um, has become a, an intelligent AI networked bus stop with microphones and speakers, so that it um, it understands what's going on around its neighbourhood and it can offer advice and information, and it's connected. Well, in my in the play, there's only there's only really two. There's there's one just outside the health centre in Havertree. That was the the original one. But there's so many interesting things happening around the Waitrose area that um, are there, there are now certainly going to be two bus stops in most of the plays, and they do talk to each other, and other other people talk 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 around them. And ask them questions, and um, it would mean setting back the lawn a little bit on the St Luke's side to find space for the bus stop, and possibly also for a, a bicycle lane, because at the moment you you get bicycles on the pavement where the where the bus shelter is on the Wetro side. And it's a bit it's a bit alarming for people who are queuing and not really paying attention to the bicycles coming along. So I don't know whether weight shows would consider surrendering some of their space. I don't don't see why they should, because I think the planning when they when they started um the weight shows building was still in sort of garden city mode. E- Exeter can be thought of as a garden city. Um but when when the presentation for the student accommodation on on the court and police station site was presented by extra planning officials, the staff, they they which you can see on YouTube. All the, all the committee meetings are on YouTube. Um, they they thought Urban Edge 
is what Exeter should be looking for. So the the student accommodation buildings at um, the end of Siddle Street, sort of close close to the the bus station, they they think those are good because they're very close to the pavement and that's urban edge, which is Exeter's future. But I I don't know. Um, whether whether that actually is suitable in in that area, or what St Luke's um, through Exeter University will, will come up with. Uh, anyway, I, I'm de- I'm definitely going to try and get get to the Cross Keys Cafe later today. Uh, I'm going to fade up the the music, which should end at um, at about ten o'clock and then it'll be the world show.